In order to actually get feminized seeds, you have to basically reverse a plant that is already growing as a female. You reverse it, and then all of a sudden it starts creating pollen sacs and then releasing pollen. Let's talk about the way you reverse plants. There's a couple different ways you can do it. There's Clodio Silver, there's STS. Some people combine the two. What's your process for reversing a plant? So I've done all three of those. I've done just colloidal silver. I've done just STS spray. And then I've done done the combo of the two. So I've done all of them, you know, multiple and multiple times. And I've always found that the combo of both has got me the best results as far as pollen production is what I'm looking for. Um, because like with the colloidal, I have the least effective way with colloidal silver. I get a lot of plants that will, they'll make the sacks and then the sacks will be empty. There won't be any pollen in them. And it's literally only the main problem with that one is just with the colloidal silver and run into that occasionally with STS spray, not as often, but I've always found that whenever I do the combo of both of them together, I usually have really, really good results as far as pollen production of the plants and the amount of sites that I get to collect it from. So for colloidal silver, correct me if I'm wrong, you're supposed to be spraying once a day. Some people do it multiple times a day. To spray the plant for the first what is it two weeks or three weeks or something like that three weeks is what yeah so yeah if in the parts per million they, they they come in different parts per million you can make your own colloidal silver too it's not a terribly hard process but the minimum i found that works is 30 parts per million but i found kind of like the sweet spot right around the 50 ish parts per million and then if like if all I had was colloidal silver, it's three times a day from the last week of veg through the first two weeks of flower, and then I cut it, and then that gives us enough time because the pot, the tree sh- or the plant should be dropping its pollen around week three to three and a half of flower, which puts you right on where you're normally would be attacking your females with it. So, and then if you're using STS, STS is a little bit more, I'll say hands off, but less work to wear. You're only spraying once every five days, which I've tried before, and uh, unfortunately, quite recently, actually, it didn't reverse. You know, the plant didn't actually reverse. It was like, what the heck? I planted all around this, and it didn't actually work. <laughs> yeah, so with the with the STS spray, I found that once every five days is a little bit long for them. So, And then the time frame is slightly off, too, so you have to account for that whenever you're doing your females. So whenever I'm doing, whenever I'm going to make the male version of the female plant and I'm going to use just STS spray, I actually start them into their flower a week or two earlier than the other plants go into flower because whenever you're doing just STS spray, it's once every five days for the first 30 days of flower. So you can still be spraying four weeks. And if you stop there before the four weeks are up, you can actually, it'll end up with no pollen at all. You won't even get the reversal. So it's, it's very important, but I've dropped it down to every three to four days that I'll do it. And I'll just do it once a day, right before the lights go off. You know, the big thing is the light actually damages the STS spray. And then whenever you're combining it, if you don't combine it in the right uh, order, which there's only two parts, but if you put it in wrong and you don't get that cool fizzy reaction that happens in it. And if you don't get it that right, or if you add it too fast, it actually will make it inert and uh, you have to watch for the fizz. So. You want to keep it just to where it keeps fizzing on itself, and then you know you're doing it right. Interesting. Yeah, I have to go back and try doing both the combo, like you mentioned, in order to try to get a better result there. The combo is great. So whenever it's a combo, I just kind of switch it up. So for the last two weeks of veg, I'll do just STS spray for once every three days, and then whenever we switch into flower, I switch over colloidal silver, and I spray it once or I spray it three times every day for the first two weeks, which is the, literally the worst part of the grow that I have to go into there three times a day, every single day, Monday through Sunday. <laughs> hey, you got to do what you got to do in order to get that reversal, right? You got to do what you got to do. It's my least favorite part, though. I'm just like, ah. And it's not like it's it's crazy hard, but it's just my finger gets tired because I have like you know, the pump sprayer bottle like this because you don't need a ton of it. And you can go through it way too fast when you have like the big spray bottles. So I just have this little spray bottle. And my, my, hand, it's, my hand just gets tired of spraying all the different branches, so. And you had mentioned that you only reverse a branch or two. You're not reversing the entire plant. It depends. It depends on how much I need. So the biggest thing, uh, especially because you can run into problems where you don't get any pollen from the pollen sacs or they don't reverse. So if let's say I'm trying to pollinate six plants, I'll grow nine and I have three different plants that I'll pull into a different 
tend to reverse just because I, I want to weigh out my, I don't ever just put all my chips on one because I don't store pollen. So I will grow extra plants just to have backups in case, you know, Hey, that one, what if something happens? What if a fan falls on it and breaks it and kills it? And now I have nothing because now I have no males that are, or females that are anywhere close to being ready to reverse. And so I always just have backups on backups whenever I'm getting ready to, you know, go through that process. Cause I want to make sure that, if I want to make a line, like, oh, no, this didn't reverse, or I didn't get as much pollen as I wanted, which is never usually the case, but it does occasionally happen. But I always have backups on backups, just in case. But it makes me go through a lot of colloidal silver and STN and STS spray, though. <laughs> this clip is brought to you by AC Infinity. Use discount code MrGrow at 15 to save on any of their products.